At Care Patron, we are constantly looking at ways to improve. If you have any feedback on how we can improve our content and platform, please leave us a comment in the comment section below. Nurses play a pivotal role in the healthcare team in ensuring patient well-being throughout their journey. Beyond administering medications and monitoring vital signs, nursing interventions are the foundation of our care delivery. These planned actions directly influence patient outcomes and are crucial to effective patient care plans. Nursing interventions encompass various activities, from basic comfort measures to complex wound care. They can be categorised based on the level of nurse autonomy involved. Independent interventions. These actions are performed by the nurse without requiring a physician's order, such as assisting with ambulation, monitoring pain levels, or providing emotional support. Dependent interventions. These interventions are carried out based on a physician's order, like administering medications or changing dressings. Collaborative interventions. These involve collaboration with other healthcare professionals, such as working with a physical therapist to develop a safe mobility plan for a patient post-surgery. Effective documentation of nursing interventions is paramount for ensuring patient safety, fostering collaboration among healthcare professionals, and ultimately delivering high-quality care. The ISPA communication framework offers a structured approach to documenting safe nursing interventions. Here's a deeper dive into each element of SBAR to guide your documentation process. S. Situation. This section sets the page by briefly explaining the current situation. Here you'll want to include the patient's relevant medical history and presenting concerns. Background. The background section delves into any pertinent details that might influence the intervention you're about to document. Think of it as providing the why behind the intervention. Here you'll want to summarize recent lab results, diagnostic tests, or any allergies the patient might have. Assessment. This section focuses on your findings based on a thorough patient assessment relevant to the intervention. Here you'll outline vital signs, pain levels, and the patient's response to previous interventions. Recommendation. The recommendation section is your chance to clearly state what actions you propose based on your assessment. Be specific and actionable in your recommendations outlining further interventions or changes to the care plan as needed. Now let's delve into common nursing interventions encountered across various healthcare settings. Pain management. Nurses are crucial in assessing and managing pain effectively, such as administering pain medication. Wound care. Proper wound care promotes healing and prevents infections. Ambulation and mobility assistance. Helping patients maintain mobility is crucial for preventing complications like muscle atrophy and pneumonia. Patient education and discharge planning. Educating patients about their condition, medication management and self-care strategies is vital for promoting post-discharge recovery. To learn more about nursing interventions, go to our Care Patron website or click on the link in the description. We have a range of guides and articles to help you learn more about different therapy techniques to incorporate into your practice. Care Patron is a healthcare platform designed for you. Just click on the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this.